Is this actually happening, Drew? And is the pandemic really near an end? You know, it's uh, one of these things where for the pandemic to be at an end, you know, that's really going to be determined by human behavior and the virus. But one of the things that happened very early on, I remember it well, was January 30th, uh, 2020, and the WHO declared COVID-19 um, to be a public health emergency of international concern. And, you know, that was a real symbolic moment because it set off all of these actions, precautions, um, you know, the race to kind of fight the virus on an international level that have since then really become the norm. I mean, we have a global vaccine distribution program. Um, countries have really figured out how they want to approach public health restrictions. And something that's been an emergency now for two plus years has really, you know, kind of been the way of being. And so now they're starting to talk about, okay, what are the steps and what are the progress that we need to see to rescind that emergency declaration? They say they're not there yet. They're still figuring out what that off ramp looks like, uh, but it is a meaningful sign that they are beginning to have this conversation. Well, and while cases have fallen in many places, we're seeing right now deaths spiking in Hong Kong. China just reported more than a thousand new daily cases for the first time in two years. Are we at a point where this is starting to get worse again? You know, I think one of the truisms of this pandemic has been that, you know, this it did not start everywhere all at once in the same way, and it's not going to end all at once everywhere in the same way. Um, we do see places like China and Hong Kong, which have used um, different vaccines, which may have um, different levels of efficacy. Um, Hong Kong in particular, they've had issues vaccinating some of their most elderly, vulnerable populations. And so just because the pandemic feels like it's over, you know, here in some part of the United States doesn't mean it's over everywhere else. Uh, this thing will stutter uh, along um, for quite a while, I would expect. We will not be done with this. Uh, we won't be done with COVID. COVID won't go away. It will just recede a little bit more into the background sometimes and come back to the foreground at other times. Quickly, what would this emergency declaration actually mean in practice? You know, I, more than anything, these emergency declarations are kind of symbolic measures saying, hey, we need to do something about this and trying to step up international coordination. I think it would be an acknowledgement that a lot of those structures are in place, things are working in some cases as they should be, and that the WHO, you know, does have other things that it needs to focus on.